This video is gonna help anyone who has a Skywatcher or an Ioptron style tracker where you align with a polar scope who's having a little bit of a tough time finding Polaris or the pole in the Southern Hemisphere. We're gonna be using our phones and the app Photo Pills and a few little gadgets from Move Shoot Move to make the polar alignment, at least the rough alignment, much smoother. Some of you may remember that I made this video right here that talked about how you can use a bracket with a laser to send the laser through the polar scope to get an alignment, at least a rough alignment to Polaris. But there's several issues with this. One is these little lasers aren't uh, legal even to use in every country. And some people just feel uncomfortable sending a laser out into the sky when there's things like planes and other concerns like that. And the laser's kind of useless in the Southern Hemisphere because there's no pole star to point the laser beam to. So thankfully Move Shoot Move has addressed this issue and made a bracket that can hold a phone mount onto your Skywatcher or Ioptron polar scope, and that can allow you to use your phone to get that alignment. To set up these brackets, it's very straightforward. You're going to want to have the little set screw and the words from Move Shoot Move facing up. You slide it over your polar scope and tighten that set screw. Now you can get your phone adapter and slide it right into position from the top and orient this little holder piece so that it's completely per parallel or perpendicular, perpendicular to the bracket. Next, to set your phone up, you're going to want to remove your phone case because some of these phone cases have like little bits of metal or something in them that may actually mess up the compass in your phone. And you're going to use these two screws to hold your phone right into place. Now your phone's aligned with a polar scope and you can use several different apps, but the, what we're going to be using tonight is photo pills. And we're gonna be using the spot star feature and you can click on night AR. So I'm gonna grab my phone right now and show you how I navigate to that. Opening the photo pills app, you're gonna scroll down to spot stars. And right on the bottom left here, you see that uh, icon that says AR. We're gonna click on that, and we're gonna set our focal length to 14 millimeters. You can see how that uh, X pops up right in the middle of your screen? So that X represents where your phone is aligned to. Like right now, I'm aligned to you guys in my camera there. But if I point down, see how there's these circles going around? That is actually aligned right there to the southern pole. So. The reverse of this is true too. If I were to go up that way towards my light, I am now aligned to the northern pole. So that is as simple as it is. Now there are a few tricks. You may want to do a visual calibration by clicking on that icon at the bottom there. And that will allow you to align to either the moon or the sun during the day and help your phone to be more calibrated to true north and true south. So I'm going to set this on the tripod quick and show you how it actually works. So we can see we're a little bit off there, but I can use these screws to adjust my alignment here. And now I can drop it down using this screw and fine tune it up a little bit. There we go. Now our uh, phone is aligned to the North Pole. And if I was out at night, I could take this all apart just by unscrewing it right here and then check that alignment. But this should at least get you really, really close to pointed directly at the North Star. So we're gonna go out tonight and put this to the test and see how accurately we can track with just using our phone. And then we'll make whatever adjustments are necessary and we'll see how far off it is compared to the polar scope and then get some proper shots. If you'd like to pick up this or anything else from Move Shoot Move, you can do that through their website. There's links down below. Use the code Alex at checkout for 5% off. Or if you'd like to pick up any of the 
any of the other gear you've seen me using, there's many fun links down below. All right, we're out here in the front yard. I am using the Photo Pro Origin Plus tripod. So far, I love this thing, and I'm coming out with a review all about this tripod in my next video. But the reason we're all here is to see how the phone alignment bracket sets up. So I already have it attached to my Skywatcher, and I kind of eyeballed it north. I have a decent idea of where I need to be pointing, but I'm gonna use my phone to get a lot closer to the target of the North Pole. So I'm gonna open this up, start my photo pills app and go to work. So I was pretty close here. I got really uh, decently lined up to North, but now I can see that I just need to make a few adjustments to move it back in the right direction here. All right, I, I like how that's looking. Now let's pop this off and see how close we got by using the polar scope. Updates from the rock rooms. So when I was out there, I was able to get a pretty decent polar alignment. I didn't actually test shoot anything, but I did take a look through the scope to see how far off we were. Polaris was in the field of view. It was definitely off and like up too high, which I guess because it's inverted is like down too low. Nevertheless, I was able to find Polaris well enough with my phone to get it inside the scope. And that really is the purpose of this whole thing. It's not to do all of the work of polar aligning for you, it's just to make finding Polaris a bit easier. Now, as far as the app Photo Pills, I liked how it worked, but I also downloaded a few other apps just to compare them. And I don't know which the best app is. I'm kind of frustrated with it right now. Photo Pills is nice because you have those two different calibration options. You can do just the one where you kind of wave your phone in a figure eight and have that calibrate it and it also has a visual calibration where you can use the moon or the sun that one's interesting but not really always practical because you simply can't always see the moon or the sun when you're doing astrophotography that's kind of the point is you're doing it when there is no moon or no sun then i also got two different apps one's called polar aligner pro which has a day align application this one's interesting because the way it works is you align your tracker once doing it like the old fashioned way and then you set up your phone and you click a button that says save position and then the next time that you go out you can just kind of automatically go to that day align section of the app and it will orient it for you. I didn't have a lot of success with it, but I need to try it again. The other app I got is called Daytime Polar Align, and this one's really funny. It gives you like a smiley faces or sad faces when you get it all aligned. I think the difference is that with Polaris or with photo pills, I want to set my phone up like this where it's perpendicular to the uh, the mount here. With the Daytime Polar Finder app, I think it wants me to have my phone more like this. So it's kind of finding Polaris out the top of the phone. I don't love this as much because it's really more challenging to make sure everything is straight. This bracket's meant to hold your phone down. Maybe you guys could leave me a comment with what you found to be the most accurate app for polar aligning. All of this just means that I need to have a follow-up video where I test out all of these apps and figure out which one is the more most accurate. Let's get back out there. So I'm loving how these photos are looking so far. So I'm gonna leave this out here running. I'm taking, well, let's just see, let's make sure. I'm gonna review in my histogram to make sure I like it. Okay, I'm taking 30 second pictures at F4 and I'm exposed just to the left, what I, which I think is fair because there's a little bit of light pollution here. So I'm gonna underexpose slightly. So 30 seconds, F4 at 3200 ISO. And I'm gonna take a bunch of these images to stack. So I'm gonna leave this running and we'll see how it works afterwards. But the main point of this uh, whole video is that I really did enjoy how well that cell phone uh, helped me to align my Skywatcher Star Adventure. The image you just saw of Orion is the result that we got from the night. So this definitely helped out. 
I still prefer the laser bracket because the laser is just so quick, so much more accurate, and you don't have to worry about seeing if your phone is calibrated. But if you can't use a laser, this is a really good option for making the frustration with aligning one of these trackers a bit easier. If you'd like to get a one-on-one -on -one session where we can sit down on Zoom and go over anything astrophotography related, be it the Skywatcher, the Move Shoot Move products, or any other questions or critiques that you might be looking for, hit the link down in the description that will take you to my website, chasingluminance.com, and I have one-on-one -on -one Zoom classes available there. All right, so what do you guys think? Is the phone mount something that you want to be using? Leave me a comment down below to tell me your thoughts, thumbs up, subscribes, all that good stuff, and I will catch you guys on the next video.